You're watching this because you've got digital content to manage, probably a lot of it. Maybe you've heard of digital asset management or a content management system. At first glance, these two may seem similar. They're both systems that let you work with your digital assets and content, so they overlap in some ways. But they're built for very different purposes and play different roles for most organizations that deal with digital assets and content. Hi, I'm Jenna from Canto, and today we're gonna look at the difference between a DAM and a CMS, so you can figure out which one is right for your organization. Before we get to a full overview, let's quickly clear up some terms which can be a little confusing at first. Asset and content. In everyday speech sometimes, these two terms are used interchangeably, but here they're different. An asset is a broad category that covers all kinds of digital files, photos, videos, audio, text, documents, graphics, PowerPoint presentations, spreadsheets, animations, PDFs, just about any file you might find on a hard drive. Content, in terms of a CMS at least, is different. In the absolute simplest terms, it is website content. Things like text and visuals arranged into pages so that it can live on a website. Those pages and what's displayed on them are the kind of content a CMS manages. So these two are related because assets from a DAM can be used to build content in a CMS. Let's take a look at how each system works and what it does best. So what is a CMS? To explain, let's start with the world's most popular CMS and one you've probably heard of, WordPress. WordPress forms the foundation for millions of websites around the world. It's estimated to be behind more than 30% of all internet sites. You can, of course, build a website from scratch without a CMS, but you would need to code every part yourself, and every small change would require more coding. A CMS offers a more user-friendly environment to build your website. WordPress is far from the only CMS out there. Other popular CMSs include Drupal, Typo3, Joomla, Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, to name a few. A CMS is used by teams building, updating, and making regular changes to a website. This could be many people in an organization, but you'll typically find copywriters and editors using a CMS the most. A CMS is great for building blogs, portfolios, forums, e-commerce stores, and just about any website where content is regularly updated. So what's a DAM? A DAM acts as a central repository for an organization's digital assets. Assets like images, graphics, documents, presentations, and visual brand material like logos or word marks. A DAM keeps all of your assets in one place, organized, searchable, and up-to-date. Unlike a CMS, which is primarily used by the teams updating the content of a website, a DAM is used by a broader range of roles in an organization. Of course, this could include the team updating the content of a website by pulling assets from a DAM. But this could also include, for example, a team working on a banner for a conference who needs logos and graphics, the HR or legal departments who need new letterhead, officially approved documents, or reference material, graphic designers who need to collaborate with photographers on a new catalog. These are just a few of the countless ways a DAM can be useful to teams who might never touch a CMS. There are many DAM providers out there and every DAM is different. So while a CMS and a DAM both deal with organizing digital files and managing data, it's clear they are built to do very different things and serve very different needs within an organization. That's why a CMS and a DAM work best as a complementary part of your organization's tech stack. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.